Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a Tactics Talk. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support of the channel as always. We're going strong. Hey, look, it is me in my 1357 Tier 7 French light tank, and I'm bottom tier in a 357. We are going to talk about capping. We're going to talk about capping. We're going to talk about stealing wins because capping is one of the ways that you can steal a win. I'm going to go up here, get up here into this bush up to the top bit. I'm worried the 13. 75 is going to come right at me, but he doesn't. I do not shoot because I will be spotted if I do so. And I'm just hoping that some of these spots will result in some damage. There goes the IKB. And RT-49 has lost his mind. He insists on raging in. I want to derp the 1375. I will get him. No. <laughs> if that was me in the 1375, he would have absolutely hit me and one-shot me right there. And the WZ decides, you know what? T49, I am going to come after you like a spider monkey. So here he comes. And I'm thinking, hey guys, fellas up there, guys. Oh, there we go. There's a hit. Still don't want to fire, don't want to move. I'm a little bit on the edge of this bush because normally it's not a problem that people drive to where they're going to see my left side. <laughs> I'm starting to think I might get some of that right now. I've got guys everywhere. I'm looking at tanks sitting back there. Let's see. There's guys up there. Oh my goodness. I'm going to hold my fire. And things don't look too bad, and I, I take that opportunity to reposition because I can see that the WZ is now going to my left side. And I turn around and go, what on earth is going on? <laughs> and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I've got an AT-7 that's just driving at me. He hits, he hits, a, <laughs> hits a building, but that doesn't stop him. He, a little shift, I'll just go around that building. So I think, you know what, whatever, let's just see if we can kill this guy. I'm trying to auto-aim and doing a really poor job of it. Take a hit from the 1375. He's actually behind me up there. And I just blow this. I'm like, oh man. A couple of blown shots. I'm not able to kill him. I just go by and I'm thinking, well, I, he's D, DQ'd or not DQ'd. Dis he's disqualified. <laughs> he's been disqualified for buffoonery. You're out of the game. Get out. <laughs> DC. Disconnected. Or his human tank interface was not working. Not really sure what was going on there. But we got him dead. Hey, things don't look bad. We got him. I got him three to two right now. Let me see if I can get a shot on this guy. No, that's bad, and that's behind him, and that's terrible gunnery. And uh, 49s, and nope, that's a rock, and nope, that's behind him. <laughs> that's the ground. <laughs> oh, kids, don't be me. Do not be me right there. Terrible. I'm going to try to get back into these bushes. So we got a good push on this 9-0. I can see that in, with the Pershing going down, we got a serious problem going on over on the west side of the map. So I'm going to come back in here and hopefully we can get some work on them. We've got a couple 1375s up there and had I do it to had I to do it again, I'd have gone up there and maybe tried to help them. Problem is there's a couple guys the 3002 Delta in particular sitting back up in there and I'm worried about them. That guy, I don't take the shot. And I'm looking over there going, okay, that what we really have left and we're starting to lose is the push on the east side. What I'm hoping is they can win, turn around and come back. But we'll watch this develop, and right now I'm thinking, all right, I may have to try to sneak in there and help them kill the WZ, but he's at a thousand hit points. Let me see what I can do. I'm gonna move that way. The lights are gonna have to do what they can over there. I'm gonna come in here and try to help our power beat their power on this side of the map. And then I see the artillery, and I see the 1375, and I think, all right, Let's just push in here. WZ dies. They're all coming out our cap. No shot there. I've gone to my gold rounds. And I do not see the heavies turning around. So I'm just going to keep on pushing in here. For the moment, our lights are able to kind of hold over there and keep them busy. There goes the GW. That was a good kill. And I'm going to push right in here. And I get spotted by the 1375, I believe. I thought was back up on the hill, so I'm gonna sit here. Like, oh, you don't see me, do you? 1375. Yeah, that's right. There, I'm gonna shoot that guy. Oh no, he's right in front of me. Not only is he in front of me, he's shooting me continually, and I cannot see him. <laughs> Probably smartly using a bush and being far enough back that I can't see him. There we go. There's that guy. Finally get a little damage on him, and he bails off. So this is the part where 
we're going to talk about stealing the win because things are not looking great right here. They're all over our cap, and I believe had they just jumped on it, they could have won. And right now I'm thinking, well, I'm going to have to try to get back over there, but how am I going to do that with that 1375 sitting there? And then the Conqueror actually drives up, does not get shot at, and I'm thinking, all right, well, here comes the 257. These Muppets are going to get on the cap. They're about to jump on ours, and there they are. And I think, well, let me just sneak up next to this Conqueror and try to hide right here. Just enough to put three on cap. 257 goes past him for some reason. They don't have artillery. I thought he was going to drive off, and I'm glad he did not. And at this point now, we're just doing the whole who can cap first thing. We're going to end up stealing this win from these guys. Their scout is busy with our scout, not being smart enough to come up. The 3002D is way back there. He's outside of spotting range, just in draw range. I'm able to put one shot into him, and we end up winning the game, basically stealing it with a cap right there. So not the best way to, to win a game in my book. I'd rather you know shoot the bad guys because that's kind of what we play the game for. But if this is what it takes to win, then I'll go ahead and do it. I wish the Conqueror and the 257 had just turned around and gone back and started working on the cap. But it may have been, based on the amount of scouts they had and the, and the places they were, that this was the best way to do it. Now, we were beefier, but if I ended up dying and the Chiri ended up dying, then they had no eyes and they could probably get picked apart by the faster, smaller tanks. Especially if that T-49 is derping, he's going to just keep taking chunks off of them if he can hit them. So we end up stealing a win right there. Just a a time to kind of look at it and go, all right, you know, sometimes stealing the uh, the cap win is the way to go. All right, that's all I got, and we will see you.